Hey, hey, watch this. Yeah, you can go around the other direction. Is it because I didn't select the darker side before and see how the lines are connected to the Mushroom Kingdom and whatnot? Yeah... Perhaps that's why? Maybe? I don't know. Hey, hello everyone and welcome back to the walkthrough. So it's time for Luigi. For there is some stuff to show with him in places, so yeah, why not start over here when we first seen him? And then, I, I mean, that's the way that they ordered the kingdoms for some reason anyway, after all. I'd also like to flip over to a different outfit, just to kind of mix things up. I have the... Wait, wait, uh, well, well... I wanted to go down into the well, <laughs> uh, yeah, well, I mean, yeah, I had something else, there we go, we are officially a charging chuck with the Nintendo 64 number, yeah! <laughs> Alright, we are ready for this now, Luigi! Hey, hey bro, you say Peach Pinch's Peach, huh? So proud of ya! Yeah. But enough of that. Get this, bro. I came up with a new game. I call it Balloon World. Balloon World is a game you search for balloons hidden by people all over the world. Or oh, you should know that if you play your high score, a nickname, and profile, I can also show up in other people's games. Yeah, oh. online. <laughs> Wanna connect to the network and play Balloon World? What if I say quit? Uh, play again sometime. What do you mean again? I, I, I never played on this particular save. Do you know something that I don't know? <laughs> Alright, right, let's begin! First, I'll move to the starting point. Yeah, you don't necessarily start where Luigi is at. Play Balloon World by hiding and seeking balloons. First, I'll show you find it. Try to find the balloon I hide, okay? You have 30 seconds to find the balloon and pop it. Once you leave the starting area, find it will begin! See, there's an arrow? And it basically points you to where the balloon is and, well, it, general area, I should say. You can actually see it on top of that tree over there. So it, this is kind of like the tutorial to begin with. Ready, steady, go! And this is actually going to be pretty easy. I don't know why I'm even rushing. <laughs> thank you, thank you. And when you find the balloon... Nice work, bro. Here, take these 50 coin coins as a reward. Oh, you get a time bonus, too. That's an extra 80 coin coins. Yay! So this time I hit the balloon. But in the real thing, players from all over the world will hide balloons. Oh, and also, when you're playing Find It For Real, I need a few coin coins from you. Sorry. Oh, man. Oh, man. Nah, it's really not that bad. You, you basically get the coins back no matter what. And did you notice, for each three coins you collect, you get one second added to the time limit for that round. Oh. It works that way in both find it and hide it, so it's always good to remember. That's like little added depth for hiding and stuff. Okay, let's try hide it. Be the one to hide the balloon and hide it, bro. And players all over the world will look for it. You'll get coin coins for each player who plays. Until someone finally finds it and pops a balloon. Neat, right? The time limit is 30 seconds. Good luck hiding your balloon. How long you take to hide your balloon will affect how long people have to look for it. Uh -huh. You can take your time and... Uh, don't tell me it took Luigi around 30 seconds to find... I mean, to hide his balloon. That, no. No. You can take your time and hide it far away or quickly hide it nearby. Use your time wisely. Yeah. Once you leave the starting area, Balloon World, hide it will start. Alright. So where should we hide it? Oh. Probably somewhere... Incredibly difficult. Well, actually, when you're in this, you cannot warp. So, if you could somehow get the balloon over there, I'd be very surprised if someone would be, <laughs> would be able to get that. But I'm thinking, for the sake of the sakes... We got the music of the Koopa free running, And I'm gonna go and hide it. Well, that was kind of a bad move there. I'm gonna go hide it behind this, hopefully. Wanna hide the balloon here? Okay. Where'd to go, bro? You picked a really good hiding spot, did I? People will probably find it in mere seconds. 
I hope you like Balloon World, bro. I think it's a blast either way you play it. And maybe you learn yourself a ton of coin coins if you get really good at finding it and hide it. Okay, wanna play find it and try to find it around the balloon? Sure. I got a ton of coinages here. Now we're talking. Alright, let's play find it. Which balloon do you wanna look for? There's a whole bunch of stuff here as you can see. Well, okay, maybe it's not that, that many here. But yeah, you can actually choose what kind of balloon you might think that you will be able to pull it off. Like, you see, you pay coins, but your reward is always higher than the coins you pay into it. Hey, let's just try this one. <laughs> 10 and 50. 10 coins, is that okay? Okay. So this is actually a pretty nice way to get coins, too, besides uh, doing the super quick browser grinding place and whatnot, so... Alright, so it's pointed out as being that away. It's probably in the water. Or maybe it's inside the pipe. Underneath the water. I don't know, let's find it. Go, 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 go. Whoa, 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 whoa. I already passed it somehow? I did. Oh. I have done it! Woo! So, what this game basically entails is it's like finding more moons, or stars, in various places, except you get coins as rewards. So it's like, players hide them, you find them, and it increases your exploration value even more. Time bonus, yeah! And my star rank has gone up, I got 100 coins, woo! Yeah! Getting a higher star rank means you'll get more coin coins to keep playing Balloon World. So yeah, it's definitely worth showing this in every world for the sake of that song and whatnot. So maybe I'll do another one here. Let's just see here. Maybe I'll do a longer one this time. Mm, yeah, well, actually, what's the longest one over here? I was actually using the shoulder buttons to select that for some reason. It's like... I guess this button... So, well, this is long, but it doesn't have as high of a reward for some reason. You see that? See that? Wonder what makes it so special. I'll go for this one then. <laughs> 60 coin coins, is that okay? Okay. Thanks, bro! Alright, it's up top, probably, but based on the arrow. So I probably gotta do some fancy schmancy triple jumping shenanigans and stuff like that to get up top. Three, two, one, let's go! And... Oh, 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 that was not a good start. <laughs> one, two, three, oh, oh, what the poop? What? I did this jump so smoothly before. Well, mostly before. <laughs> Come on. That's really the only way I can get up there. Because he's using this bridge because of the... Oh, really? Is because of the, um... Eh, everything's got a moat around it, basically. Yeah, I think I think this is a lost cause. <laughs> Maybe that's why the coin reward is so much better on this one. I mean, uh, it's... I don't, I don't know. Well, it's not that good on this one compared to the other one, I mean. I don't know. I don't know. That was just awful. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. I'll just try again. You'll need 40 coins. Uh, yeah, I guess I could try it. It's, it doesn't look like that it's up near on the tippy top top, but yeah. like based on that arrow's angle, it's like if you're pointing out, see that? It's like, it's not way up on top. It looks like it's on that the ledge, but not on the tippy top. All right. Let's see. How did I do that so smoothly before? I mean, I, I definitely had the wall kick off of something. <laughs> <laughs> uh, oh, no, 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 don't. Well, well, it doesn't look like it's hidden that far away, per se, but... <laughs> oh, oh, what hot? <laughs> Come on, now. Uh, oh, actually, maybe I should start my triple jump from further away. Come to think of it, because I got more of a... <laughs> Man, maybe I won't be able to make a coin profit at this rate. I should at least do one more run for practice. Oh, jeez. <laughs> mm. mm -mm -mm -mm. Shame on me. Ah, oh, come on, PK Gam. Uh, yeah, yeah. Come on now. 
Hmm. Okay, let's aim for this true. Like, maybe on the very right edge of stuff. Like this thing right here, and then we go, okay. <laughs> now we are cooking. Ish. <laughs> and where is that sucker? Don't tell me it's like on top. I don't think you can. Huh? Huh? How do you get up there without the scarecrow dealio? Uh. Oh, maybe something like that. Hmm. Hmm. Well, yes, you can get extra. Unle mm -hmm. Oh, wait, the scarecrow is here. Oh, that. I didn't. I didn't think that that was even... Well, okay, now I've absolutely got to get this. <laughs> I would still make an 80 coin... Well, 88 coin profits. Alright, here we go. One, two, three... Beam, er, move up. Arceus, come on! Just as long as I get up there, I should be fine this time. How did I... I was gonna, well, I should say, if I get up there quick enough, I'm gonna still have to actually get up there to... Oh, okay, there we go. Scarecrow! Scarecrow, where are you? Uh... Scarecrow... Okay, there you are, it's on the opposite corner. And... Go, 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 go! I'm gonna assume that I don't need to collect the coins. Okay, we got this. We got this. Yeah! I don't think I'll get a time bonus for that, though. <laughs> Alright. Nice work, bro. You take these 208 coins as a reward! You're starring as a god hit. Whoa! So, so I got quite a bit of coins there. <laughs> you got higher starring as you get more coin coins. Keep playing Balloon World. Hmm. Do I dare try the 270 errors? Maybe. Maybe I'll try the one that's a lot faster for the sake of trying stuff. 88 coin coin, that's okay? Okay. <sighs> Alright, so. Oh, really? <laughs> so this one must be like the more efficient version of. <laughs> hmm. Well, I think we know where this one's hidden. And then. I didn't jump off the hat. <laughs> oh man, yeah, it's like the exact same angle and everything, so I don't even think I should bother with this one in all honesty. <laughs> like even if I can't get it, it's like, you just gotta be super speed runny for it. And I, I wonder if that's like, I wonder if that's where the, uh, oh, it's actually up the tippy top. Yeah, it's not really all that much different overall. Oh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's too bad. Different balloon. Let's, let's see if we can find something else somewhere else. Like, um, I, I, they aren't all putting it on top of the uh, on top of the world, are they? That would be kind of kind of lowering the creative factor here. <laughs> How about we try like a mid-range one here? With Star Fox, 30 coins, okay, thanks bro, and it's down that way, okay, ready, steady, go, me, 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 I think this is going to be probably like at the edge of the world or something like that, and, uh, uh, huh, what, oh, it's up the tree probably, <laughs> I don't like why did the thing disappear anyway. Alright, wait, 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 wait a second, wait a second. Oh shoot, let me let me turn around, man. <laughs> oh, gotta try that again. But yeah, now that we know where it is, it's in the tree, but yeah, it wouldn't let me turn around at the tippy top of for whatever reason. Let's go. <laughs> yeah, Hill is knocking me. Yeah, well, not, I shouldn't say I was at the tippy top, it was just before the tippy top, and uh, I should be able to get that time bonus this time, assuming that, okay, yeah, it's on that side that I think it is, alright, thank you, thank you, 
And nice work, bro. You take these other eight coins. Woo! Extra 60. Rank gone up 150. <laughs> Just raking up those coins now. Higher rank, more coins, yada yada yada. Keep playing. And I think actually. Oh, oh, yeah! We got some stuff. Woo! Heck yeah! I also turn on notifications because I think that if you're just waiting around and you're not playing this, you'll get notifications that'll see so be like, hey, people did this or that. And you'll, yeah. So just so I would put that on just to, for the sake of showing you the showing you. Oh no! Yeah, um, after a couple of finds, your balloon gets popped, and yeah. Alas, alas. So, what if I were to say I will hide it once again? And I, like, let's get some notifications going on here. Uh, where should I place mine? Hmm. So many possibilities. So many places. I would like go in the water where Dory is. You'd think that the balloon would float up to the top, but no. Oh shoot, that's not gonna be good. <laughs> well, oh, it's probably gonna be too easy for people to find if I don't do it efficiently enough. Anna, I'll place it there. <laughs> Alright, did I though? Did I? Probably not. <laughs> And alright. The other thing that I wanted to do here, besides the Balloon World dealio, was that... Remember that there was, on this place, yeah, the brochure thingy. I never really did do the brochures yet. Well, that's because it's kind of like... It, it, like, if I did it too early, some of the context would be lost, IMO. So, I figured that I would do this and I would do, like, the extra stuff and whatnot. Population, eh, middling. <laughs> Size wide-ish. All this, all this is quite descriptive. <laughs> Locals, yeah, toads, of course. Tons and tons of toads. Currency, 64. Yes. Yeah, this is referring to the purple coins. Remember I said it was a ref reference to Nintendo 64? Uh-huh. Uh-huh. That also makes using the, uh, um... Charging Chuck uniform, sort of fitting as well. Industry pipes and tourism. Average 81 degrees. Ooh, that's kind of warm. Oof. Oof. At least for my body. My body would be like, oh no, no, I want to be nude. <laughs> Less art storage and more art prison. <laughs> In older times, the towers dotting the landscape were watchtowers. Now they hold and preserve a series of mysterious paintings. These incredibly detailed works are so real that admirers speak of being pulled into another world <laughs> paintings. Did they jump at the paintings? Because it's not like you could pull in to them just by standing in front of them or something. However, it's extremely rare for tourists to be able to, per to be permitted to see them. These to some undescribed danger and casual visits are discouraged. You'll always know whose castle this is with the stained glass. Yes! A lovely portrait of glass because Peach Princess Peach is so often absent from her kingdom, her citizens took it upon themselves to create a stained glass portrait of her in the castle balcony. While a pale reflection of the genuine article, the portrait being as comfort to the citizenry when their princess can't be with them. Ah, oh. Not mushrooms. These three thrive in the warm climate here and are a favorite of many creatures that reside in the mushroom kingdom. Are they? It, no one else seems to eat them except for Yoshi. They sit there until you get them. <laughs> Here's the other part of the brochure here. Places to relax. Ah, an image of national attitude. <laughs> the toes in the Washington Kingdom value their relaxation and have created several lovely spots on the castle grounds for that purpose. Neither too small nor too large and with just the right amount of ornament ornamentation, these plazas and courtyards exemplify the best traits of this kingdom. I don't know, well, I, I guess it's sort of like, it's got that little star reference maybe to Super Mario 64 right there, and uh, well, otherwise the fountain doesn't look like it's super representative, I don't know, I'm not seeing any like special design or anything like that in there, anyway, slightly scary woods! Even the Serene Mushroom Kingdom has its more dangerous locals. This forest was originally planted for the mushroom cultivation, but all the mushrooms have flourished. A large number of wild Goombas have also moved in, and now no one can get those mushrooms. <laughs> this is too dangerous. 
well, it's come to be known as Goomba Woods, it's still a pleasant place for a stroll. So if you're not afraid of these fearsome beasts, why not treat yourself to a walk? <laughs> a bit more dangerous than it looks. See? A bit. <laughs> A castle's water feature. The only lake on the castle grounds features a small but lovely waterfall and is a popular spot to visit. The lake formed naturally, but some claim that its shape is familiar. Hmm. The shape, really? Is it? Ah, oh, I didn't really notice that before. Not very deep, so a good place to swim. Three keys to the kingdom! Visit Peach's Castle, the face and heart of the kingdom. Relax in the various soothing spots scattered about. Stroll through the rolling hills and dales of the castle grounds. And apparently this brochure was made by the Crazy Cap Shop. <laughs> so yeah, I don't... I should actually take a look at that. Uh, like, is it a seashell shape or something like that? Because I never really noticed that before, come to think of it. Because I... Oh yes, I'll, I'll go there next. But yeah, you can get little extra bonuses. <laughs> Yay! Yeah, I'd actually, I don't think those are regular notifications for the... Uh, for the place, but anyway. So, let's just check out the shape here. With the, up on the high perch with all the birds. Uh... Uh... Huh? Is it like tentacles and this is like a Splatoon squid you know like tentacles coming out of the the head here and I don't know I don't that could be it <laughs> maybe could be uh, wait vibration oh <laughs> never got that before um yeah I don't it, it could be a Splatoon dealio. I'm gonna go up top really here really quick. And check it out from... Actually, maybe I should do it like this. I, I don't know. I, I get, maybe it's a Splatoon squid? I, eh, I don't know. <laughs> in any case, with that, I'm gonna end off the part here. I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you in the next part when I check out the next kingdoms, Luigi and the brochure and stuff like that. It's gonna be a good time of exploration, baby. Woo! -hoo.